Earlier in the month, representatives and delegates from all competing nations attended a weekend seminar in Port Moresby, during which they were all given access to review the game's village and infrastructure which are yet to be completed. The Fiji Association of Sports and National Olympic Committee commended the PNG government on allocating a generous 1.1 billion kina. The allocation and securing of funds remain the only issue surrounding Team Fiji's preparations for the 2015 Port Moresby Pacific Games. That uh, the government always assists us. And uh, this time the um, sporting arm of government, we have a new uh, body that looks after the sports in the country, that's the Fiji Sports Commission. And so um, usually normally FASNO, which is uh, Team Fiji, we come under them, uh, is shared between government and FASNO. While the team's preparations are heading in the right direction, each sporting code now carries the heavy responsibility of allocating funds to help the team's preparations and secure facilities for training. Mrs Whippy confirms that Team Fiji has received funds from the Fijian government and other respective bodies, however not enough to place the team in a comfortable position. That's the fundraising committee that looks after looking for major sponsors and we have major sponsors that, are, that they're working on to bring on board as well. So, um, yeah, we're all, uh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all going fine at the moment. It's just that I think for most athletes and most NS, I think their major concern at the moment is funding for training. In a race against time, Fiji as well as other participating countries are left with 347 days to ensure they are competent and ready for what will be the bigger and better games. Lorraine Genya, National MTV News.